Before the video starts, I suggest you to go watch Scopus's video on this matter to get a more deeper understanding of the situation. Hi, my name is Kylo Lolo, but most of you know me better as Baby Tayo. I support the Grundy Gaming Grundy channel in the shadows and sometimes post my gameplay. In addition, I am the trivia man in Scopus' official Discord server. Since the very beginning of the channel, Scopus Gaming, I have always supported it whether through the live streams or on Discord. When Scopus was confronted by the unfair treatment by the hackers and the WB dev team, I knew how to speak out. Because I believe Scopus is not a hacker or a cheater. Otherwise, why would he be sacrificing my sleep time to edit a video about a guy who hacks? Obviously, he doesn't hack. And now, a quote from Scopus himself. Since the very beginning of this channel, I've always been a strong proponent of legitimate gameplay in a sea of players and YouTubers who hack, glitch, or cheat in the game. It's on my YouTube about page, my Instagram profile, and people know me for that. So, you might be thinking, what's the point of this video? Well, one, to show support for Scopos, and two, to let y'all know what other people think as well, since Scopos was not the only one who was impersonated on the leaderboards. Out of the 10 spots of the leaderboards, I managed to interview four of the people who were victims of impersonation. Awesome P with an exclamation mark, mind you. 123 Aiden, copy paste, and anti pasta. Technically, of the 10 people on the board who were impersonated, Leica is a known hacker, Scopos, Nice Scope, and Baby Scopos are all the same person, which is Scopos. So go watch his video, which I linked in the beginning, for his point of view. I could not get in touch with Dylan YT or Alan Gear, and the closest I got was a Reddit post from Scopos mentioning Alan Gear in the MP season prior. A disclaimer before we hop into the interviews all the interviewees are minors and I got their consent to show screenshots in which they provided, and also our private DMs. I'll provide video evidence of proof of consent at the end of the video. I asked the victims a few questions that mostly went along the lines. As a top 10 player who was impersonated, what are your thoughts on the situation? The first interviewee, Awesome P, said, F Mac Pilly. I said how he's detrimental to the injustice community. If you've been out of the loop, Mac Pilly is the name of the collective injustice mobile community gave to the hacker who has been hacking the game for a long time. He always floods the top 10 with fake accounts, and this time he decided to use accounts that look like other people's. 123 Aiden had a very confident approach to the whole situation. He said that he's not scared for himself, but rather the other top 10 players. The reason being is that this has been done against him multiple times in the past. Now I want to copy paste. For this one, I'm going to read it word for word since it's way too long for um, a brief overview. Hackers aren't my biggest issue compared to some of the other big name players, as they do not usually have t time to aim for a top 10 finish. However, I'm a lot more concerned about my account being banned like what happened to Scopos. To this end, I do think that NetherRealm needs to improve the verification process for new accounts and increase MP integrity so that hackers cannot take up the top spot so easily. NetherRealm should also be more scrutinizing when it comes to removing hackers, as they may inadvertently remove a legitimate account that has been imitated closely by a hacker. And then these are his final words. Patching issues like this and other game concerns shouldn't take too much time as an app developer. Although I understand this game is old and not a major source of profit anymore, developers still keep the, still very large, existing player base satisfied until the game is no longer supportable. Otherwise, if hackers are allowed to remain unchecked and free to continue making new accounts, potential revenue is lost and the game loses MP appeal to many players. Lastly, anti -Pasto. It was pretty funny since I actually interviewed him before he actually got to watch Scopus' video, but he answered the first question anyways. His response was sort of similar to Aiden's. He wasn't that stressed or afraid of being banned since he didn't have a lot to lose. However, he does acknowledge that the hackers do ruin the gameplay and will want them gone as soon as possible because they steal the rewards of legit players who work so hard to grind. So what can we do about this? Scopus here has an answer for you. Now, I call upon you guys to help me out. What can we do about it as a community? You can send more support tickets to DC Games. I will include the link to DC Games support in the video description. We can tweet the NetherRealm developers, you know, even Ed Boon. I don't care because obviously this problem is not getting better. It's getting worse. More people are affected. More people's accounts are at stake of being banned wrongfully. We do not want this hacker to ruin the game for everyone else. To the developers, Scopus is nobody but we have power in numbers. I'm sure if there's enough of an outcry from the community, 
the developers will have to do something about this. Let us all unite and do our part in garnering attention to this issue and hope the developers pay due diligence to this matter.